There's something delicious about writing the first words of a story. You can never quite tell where they'll take you. Mine took me here. 19세기 빅토리아 시대 영국 런던. An unmarried woman, after all, was expected to behave in very particular ways, which did not include traipsing from publisher to publisher with a gaggle of friends. 홍기가 꽉찬 여성 베아트릭스 포터는 부모님의 반대에도 결혼보다는 글과 그림에 몰두해 살아가고 있었는데. Bunnies in jackets with brass buttons. Are you both the animal characters on your friends? No, the animals are my friends. 동물들이 주인공인 시시한 이야기에 출판사는 책의 가치를 저평가하지만. Miss Potter, it is Miss Potter, is it not? You understand? It was silly of me. No experience. F. Wall and Company would like to publish your little book, Miss Potter. But best not to get overly hopeful. I know publishing your book will not sell a great number of copies, but I think we can turn a small profit. I should do everything possible to ensure that you've not made a mistake. 사실 이들이 포터의 출판을 허락한 이유는 따로 있었는데 첫 사회 진출에 나서는 막내 동생에게 실패해도 부담 없을 일을 주기 위해서였죠. 이런 사실을 알리 없는 포터는 흥분된 마음을 주체할 길 없었고. 포터는 어린 시절부터 남다른 감각의 그림과 이야기를 만들 줄 아는 아이였는데요. Benjamin Bunny having a rest. Oh, his ears are getting better and better, and this the shading here is very good, Beatrix. Late, late, late. This is polite, late. This is late. Once upon a time, those two excellent housekeepers, Lucinda and Jane, suddenly there came a scuffling noise from the kitchen. 그렇게 한참이나 포터의 이야기는 계속됐죠. 포터의 책 출간을 돕기 위해 그녀의 집을 찾은 출판사 막내 노먼. 다소 어리버리한 그의 모습에 포터는 돌아가는 상황을 단번에 눈치채죠. In other words, you have no experience whatsoever, but because you've made a nuisance of yourself demanding a chance, they've fobbed you off on me. Your brother's letter makes two proposals which I find quite unacceptable. First, they'd like the drawings to be in colour. I'm adamant they'd be in black and white. But Peter Rabbit's blue jacket and the red radishes surely would like your enchanting drawings reproduced as they are. Well, of course I would prefer colour, but colour will make the book cost far more than little rabbits can afford. I'm adamant. Which brings us to your brother's second point. They wish to reduce the number of drawings by nearly a third. Totally unacceptable. The, the, the idea of reducing the number of drawings was not my brother's, but my own. If we can reduce the number to 31 precisely, then the illustrations from the entire book can be printed on a single sheet of paper, using what we call the three-color process that you desire, and at a relatively uh, low level of... Um... Oh. I have given your book a great deal of attention. Uh, truly, uh, I would like it to look colorful on the shelf. So that it stands out from ordinary books. 비록 경험은 부족하지만 책에 대한 열정이 누구보다 뜨거운 그를 포터는 믿어보기로 하죠. I know all too well what my brothers intended, giving me your your bunny book, as they call it. But I find your book quite enchanting, delightful. And if they intended to fob me off, as you say, then we shall show them. We shall give them a bunny book to conjure with. 본격적인 출판 준비에 들어가는 두 사람. 어린 시절 영국 북서부에 위치한 레이크 디스트릭트로 종종 휴가를 떠난 포터는 그곳의 아름다운 풍경과 동물들을 관찰하며 이야기를 만들었고 Once upon a time there were four little rabbits at old Mrs. Rabbit one morning Muddy at you. One more, Mr. Mortimer. Lighten it up. Hmm? Miss, this book. It's, it's changed things for me. For one thing, it's given me the chance to prove to my mother that an unmarried woman of 32 can do more than attend tea parties and, and smile at dull conversations, provided, of course, we prove them wrong. 함께 일을 하며 어느새 가까워진 두 사람은 가족과의 식사에도 자연스레 어울리게 되죠. And this is my sister, Amelia. Hello. 
Norman allowed us a peek at Peter Rabbit, Miss Potter. We found it utterly charming, so we wheedled, cajoled, and absolutely insisted that Norman bring you round for tea. I have decided that you and I are going to be friends. 도르이자 미온이라는 공통점에 밀리와 포터는 금세 가까워지고 노먼의 엄마 역시 따뜻한 감성을 가진 그녀를 꽤나 마음에 들어 하죠. 하지만 남부럽지 않게 부유한 삶을 살던 포터의 어머니는 자그만 출판사의 막내 아들과 어울리는 딸이 못마땅하기만 한데 I can hardly wait till it's finished and forgotten. 그동안 내로라 하는 집안에 남자들을 거절해 왔던 포터. Ashland's a crack shot. But no, you're just a pig-headed girl. 시간이 흘러 기다리고 기다렸던 그녀의 책 피터 레빗이 세상에 공개되고. Two sold while we were at the booksellers. That amounts to forty in a week, which is a hundred and sixty in a month. And try to remember my twelve times table. 1920 in a year. 장미빛 미래를 꿈꾸며 그들은 두 번째 책에 대한 이야기를 나누는데. A very stupid duck based on myself, I think. It's a story I told a friend once. 포터는 어린 시절 레이크 별장에서 만난 관리인 아들의 이야기를 들려주죠. That's Jemima. She doesn't have a story yet, not a proper one. And a stupid duck Walt has never seen. 윌리엄은 포터의 이야기를 참 좋아했는데요. She goes looking for a safe place to lay her eggs. Then meets a charming gentleman with a long bushy tail and very sharp teeth. Precisely. He encouraged me to take my writing seriously. Your book has been very important in my life. You have been very important in my life. 그렇게 지필의 열중한 포터는 말썽꾸러기 쥐두 마리를 또한건 완성하고. Dear Miss Potter, I enclose with great pleasure the latest in what I hope will be a long line of tales. Yours affably. 처음으로 아버지에게 인정도 받게 되죠. <목소리> 포터는 부모님의 반대에도 고마운 노먼 남매를 크리스마스 파티에 초대하는데. <목소리> I think other than Bertram and father, you are the first man ever set foot in this room. My, but it's beautiful. Is it the new story? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. 이어 뮤직박스에서 흘러 나오는 오르골 소리에 그들은 자연스레 몸을 맡기는데. I know you have decided not to marry. All my life, I thought that I would not marry either, but something has happened that has caused me to change my mind. No, please, let me go on, for if I do not say what I have to say now, I fear I never will. 그런데 그때 갑작스런 포트 어머니의 등장으로 분위기는 한 순간에 깨져버리죠. 밀리를 찾아가 방금 전 일을 털어놓는 포터. Your brother has asked me to marry, and I feel quite rationally that I may say yes. You have a chance to be loved. 포터는 곧장 노먼에게로 가 기쁜 마음으로 청혼을 수락합니다. Yes. <웃음> 다음 날 노먼이 포터의 아버지를 찾아가 결혼을 허락받으려 하지만 상대적으로 별 볼일 없는 그의 집안이 발목을 잡고 말죠. <목소리> 하지만 성공한 작가인 포터에게 그런 부모님의 협박은 전혀 겁날 것이 없었죠. You have enough to buy an estate, several estates, and a house in town. You're quite a wealthy woman, Miss Potter. Extraordinary. 이에 아버지는 협상을 제안해 옵니다. You may accept, Mr. Warren, but it must remain a complete secret, even from his own family. Now, this summer, yourself, Mama, and I will go, as always, to the Lake District. If at the end of the summer you still wish to proceed, then. We will announce your engagement. Now, Beatrix, if you care for this man as much as you say you do, then in a few months the ardor will still be there. If your mother and I and I are correct, and this emotion cools with time, then we will have protected you against humiliation and unhappiness.
자신의 사랑을 확신했던 포터는 아버지의 제안을 수락하고 But make plans. There will be a wedding in this house by October. This is not how I wish to say goodbye to you. Your parents are not going to be happy with me. Well, I'm afraid they are. All of my thoughts are with you, my darling. I know that you find Harold and Fruing terribly boring, but in fact I am having what I could almost describe as wild enjoyment working with them. You may wake up one day to find yourself married to a businessman. Praise the day when I can wake up to find you beside me. 그러던 어느 날, 포드는 그곳에서 농장 관리인의 아들 윌리엄과 재회하게 됩니다. How good to see you. Well, hello. 옛 추억을 떠올리며. 함께 농장 구경에 나서는 두 사람. By chance I met an old friend today who showed me a beautiful farm that's for sale. It would be a perfect country home, and though I know we'll live mainly in the city. 그런데 언제부턴가 노먼의 편지가 뜸해지기 시작하더니. And once again, no letter from your Mr. Wall. 머지않아 밀리로부터 청천벽력 같은 소식이 전해지죠. Norman is ill. 포터가 서둘러 런던으로 향하지만. 도착했을 때 그는 이미 세상을 떠난 뒤였습니다. He was so happy. But all summer he had a cough. And then the cough got worse. And in one night he was gone. It was so sudden I keep thinking that it hasn't happened. 집으로 돌아온 포터는 시금을 전폐한 채 힘든 시간을 보내다 몰아치는 감정들을 그림에 쏟아내기 시작하고 그런 그녀를 밀리가 찾아와 위로하죠. I must leave this house. I will leave this house. 포터는 복잡한 런던을 떠나 예전 윌리엄과 보았던 농장을 인수합니다. What I don't understand, Beatrix, is how you're going to pay for this farm. Our daughter is famous, Helen. You're the only person who doesn't know it. 아직은 노먼을 잊지 못해 힘든 시간들을 보내지만 매일 새로운 아침이 찾아오듯 어두웠던 시간도 어느새 조금씩 지나가고 있었죠. <목소리> 현재 레이크 디스트릭트의 최대 이슈는 부동산 개발이었는데 어린 시절 추억과 더불어 수많은 이야기가 시작된 이곳을 지키고 싶은 포터. Well, it's prime land. There's a lot of profit in building houses on it. Ah, but more value as a working farm, surely. 그녀는 윌리엄의 도움을 받아 농장 경매에 나서죠. Gentlemen, splendid little farm this. Two thousand three hundred. Monitor Potter and William are one step closer to each other. Now then, young man, who are you taking to your new home? I know it's not London, but Hilltop might suit a young rabbit better. He seems to be taken to the place. As am I, Mr. Hillis. 긴 어둠의 터널을 지나 따스한 햇살로 나아가는 포터의 모습을 끝으로 영화는 마무리됩니다. There's something delicious about writing those first few words of a story. You can never quite tell where they'll take you.